Minnesota no longer has a divided government after Democrats held on to the House and flipped the Senate. This means come January, the DFL will have a trifecta, both chambers of the legislature and the governor's office. It's the first time that has happened since 2014. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz easily won a second term in office. He beat Republican challenger Scott Jensen by nearly eight percentage points. In the Minnesota legislature, the DFL holds a majority in the House of 70 to 64 and a razor thin majority in the Senate with 34 Democrats and 33 Republicans. Now, as Caroline Cummings reports, Democrats are looking ahead to their agenda, planning to pass laws that impact you at home. My colleagues and I are celebrating with our Senate DFL caucus for a Minnesota Senate miracle. Democrats celebrated a surprise win Wednesday, taking back the reins of the Minnesota Senate dominated by Republicans since 2017. And I believe our caucus is committed to progress and want to put behind us the divisions, the fear mongering and the stalemate that has become endemic in the legislature. Earlier in the morning, House Democrats cheered too when it was clear that they'd hold on to their majority in the Minnesota House. We know what Minnesotans want. Minnesotans want fully funded public schools. They want health care that everybody can afford. And they want an economy that works for everyone. So how does what happens here in this building impact you at home? Well, lawmakers write policies and they write budgets with your tax dollars, which could impact your pocketbooks. Are you getting a tax cut? How much money is going to your kid's school? And even is there extra money for local public safety departments to help public safety in your community. Now, Democrats are still trying to figure out what their main agenda will be going into January, but they've already floated codifying abortion rights, passing a state paid family leave program, and even legalizing marijuana. With his victory, Governor Tim Walz enters a second term with a different power structure in St. Paul, one that will help him move his priorities forward. We're not gonna see things that Minnesotans need be stalled. We're going to see things that are able to move forward. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. We should soon learn who will be the new leader of Senate Democrats. The current leader, Melissa Lopez Franzen, did not seek re-election this fall.